Hello again, this is Pearls doing my Let's Play of King Dugan's Dungeon, and we are scaled deep, neck deep, something deep, into the uh, uh, snake level. Now, we left on this room, we've just been introduced to, to, uh, to snakes, and in this one we're dealing with a queen, while we can't quite get to the orb that frees her for a little while, there's like a, a built-in delay. Snakes act as good timers in puzzles, like get the puzzle done before the snake reaches some point, etc. This is a pretty easy example of it, but nonetheless it is a pretty normal puzzle. Now the only thing here is we got to lure the snake up into my territory so that I can trap him later. So I gotta get him over here. There he goes. He'll have to follow me. And the best place to get him trapped is this little area right here. Wow, B throw is very, very excited to kill a snake in such a manner. And this little way out is kind of a secret, but not really a secret. Basically, if you need to come down this way again from the north, you can't because of this barrier here, so you need to come around this way. This level's kind of designed so that you have to do it kind of a certain way, and it's a little bit annoying. Um, nope. Uh, I don't understand why this room is here. It's not particularly challenging or even much of a puzzle. It's just kind of like, oh, hey, here's some roach queens. You love those, right? Let's do puzzles about roach queens. So we do some puzzles about roach queens. That's not really a puzzle either. It's just more like a, a senseless killing spree. This game gets a lot harder to play if I consider all these uh, roaches suddenly become orphans if I happen to kill their moms before I kill them. <sighs> so I'm an orphan killer. Orphan roach killer. That's why they want me dead. I keep killing their mothers. I have no remorse. A roach mother killer. All I want to do is protect their family. Who am I to say that's the wrong? <laughs> well, King Dugan says it's wrong, so he pays me to become a senseless family homewrecker. Okay. Uh, this is kind of an annoying puzzle. If I remember right, all these orbs open up the various doors, obviously, um, and we learn something about, or at least a property of snakes that's kind of interesting. The main one being, they get stuck on force arrows. Even though this points my way, they can't cross it for whatever reason. So, uh, that's how those die. What does this do? This strictly closes that, so I don't need to hit that orb. And get him trapped on this one, so he's good. The rest of this puzzle is kind of peculiar. Um, just basically how we deal with these uh, these lower couple snakes. I got real lucky there. Okay, one just managed to luckily get himself killed, so I'm going to not worry about that. Does this open up that upper door? It does. Alright. Okay, now how this is done... Ooh, I don't know if I'll be able to do this right. I basically have to sneak around him before he can turn around too quickly such that I can get to this orb over here before he can close it, and he dies. Okay, so that's that part. The rest of this puzzle is kind of awkward how you do it. You have to get the uh, the snakes to follow you fairly diligently through this maze. Uh, but I can't deal with them both at the same time. Not like that. That would pose some complications, I imagine. Okay. Let's see how this guy finally went in there. That's good for me. It's not my intended effect, uh, but now I know how to deal with this one in a more guaranteed manner. So he needs to come follow me. Oh, I don't like this room. Up through this way and start following me around this way. Now I'm going to take advantage of the fact that snakes cannot cross diagonals, so I can get a little bit of uh, a head start on him, I guess. That's what I'm going with there. Now hopefully he doesn't take the down path, and he didn't. So this should give me 
enough time to zip in this direction such that he prefers <sighs> see that didn't work hmm. well I'll just try it again so I have to get him to go into that room one way or another And I don't really know how to control snakes well enough to, like, force it to happen, but... There we go. Good enough. Alright. Now this room, as far as I know, can only be done from this side. Because if you start over here and you hit this and this toggles, um, you're going to have, a, like, a roach problem and you'll never be able to kill the snake. But if you start from up here, you got to think about what you're doing because... Uh, this guy's immediately going to travel in here, and once you hit the orb, he's going to be pretty much stuck in there, and you'll never be able to reach him. So the first move needs to be hitting the orb so he gets caught outside. And then the next thing I like to do, and there's probably other ways to do this, is to barricade myself in here and make a roach line like so. Such that I can move up and trap the snake just like so. And now, the roaches are all in a really convenient form as opposed to a big uh, spread out form. Um, and they're much easier to handle and I don't get overwhelmed and the queens die and <laughs> I am happy okay uh, my tribute to Tron Eric is the developer of this game um, this one's actually not too hard all I have to do is any of you play Tron? Tron was a great game I used to Tron Armageddon God, that was so much fun well this looks like a really complex puzzle all you really do is got to all I really have to do is like kind of set up a fortress and they'll eventually all kill themselves on stuff such that there's all these little one edges um, I believe this message says something about like well it's not exactly like Tron but you get the idea now another thing I have to do is I need to do this room before I do this room I don't have to but otherwise I'll be doing some walking around because if I uh, come back into this room, these doors will be closed and this one will be open and I can't get back here until I actually come through the top again. So I'm going to do this one first. And apparently this is a secret room that's not so secret. Hmm. To the feeble-minded, turn back. This room can only be completed by a master intellect. Well, that's reassuring, I guess. Um, because I... Jeebus. The serpent must be about 1,445 feet long. But my contract says I'm not obliged to deal with any monster longer than 1,444. Could just let this room be. <laughs> so that's Beto's justification for um, not having to do this room and why it's kind of the secret room, which are optional. Oops, that was a mistake. And I'll show you why in a second. Be about 1,445 feet long. But my contract says I'm not obliged to deal with any monster longer than 1,444. Could just let this room be. So the the trick here is that roach, I need to be able to get to this orb, which will close that door, before the roach can get in there. So if you wait until the exact moment she spawns, it usually buys you enough time to catch her on the snagger like that. Oops. I hope they haven't wasted too much time. I think I have plenty of time on the serpent left, but I'm going to take my diagonals very carefully just in case. The reason the serpent needs to be alive will become apparent in a second. Such that when you... it traps this roach in here, so that when you hit this orb, if you didn't... if the serpent wasn't there, it'd, hit you, it'd get to you in the back before you could turn around and kill it. So now we just gotta waste time and... So, not too hard of a room. I wouldn't call it a uh, necessity of master intellect, but whatever. What does this do? Oh, um, okay. I'm not going to ask questions. Let's leave. I only have 30 seconds left, and that's not enough time to do this room, but I think this is the last room of the... Didn't think I'd figure that one out left there, huh? Well, it's not too bad. Actually, though, it takes me a long time. I'm pretty sure this is the last room of the floor. So uh, we'll have to do it next time because I'm, I'm out of time now. But uh, stay tuned.